on our Patreon on this show I'll be reviewing set number 60150 Lego City Pizza Truck and the set cost £15. Here's the first main figure of the set, and the first main figure of the set is a chef or truck driver. I think he might be both, since there isn't a truck driver in the set, and he's shown sort of doing both things on the box. So yeah, he's a chef and a he drives the truck, so he has a nice face print which shows a moustache and the regular face print underneath that, and he has some bushy eyebrows printed on there. And he has a uh, brown Widow's Peak hairpiece, and that's quite a nice piece to get, since it uh, doesn't come in male sets. And his torso print shows a chef's costume, and it also shows that he's a little bit fat and a bit overweight, so he probably eats a bit of his own pizza or something, I don't know. But uh, around the back, the printing continues. There's a line right there. There's his scarf there, which is shown on the front of the torso. There's some button printing there. And a sort of bit of printing there which shows where the shirt would sort of come open, I guess. And uh, he also has um, sort of plain black legs. And it's a pretty basic mafic. No back expression, even though he could have had an alternate expression. And perhaps one that looks surprised for when he drops the pizza or something. But perhaps he never drops pizzas, who knows. But yeah, he's a chef and he can drive the truck. It depends what you want him to do. Pretty basic chef mefig, yet pretty nice one, especially for the face print and the hairpiece. Second mefig of the set, which could be a regular civilian, or it could be a sort of pizza delivery girl. It really depends on what headpiece and what role you give this mefig. <clears throat> and there is a helmet, which is in white, which is a pilot's helmet with a regular visor, which I don't really like, but some people might. It's nice to have a white pilot's helmet in this set which is quite a cheap set, and the white matches the white trousers, so that's quite a nice look for the pizza delivery place. Although, if you don't want her to be a pizza delivery girl, you, then you can sort of take off that piece and put on a hair piece, so she's just now a regular civilian. And one thing I do quite like about this mefic is the hair piece, because the hair piece is a dark brown Ginny Weasley hair piece, which is exclusive to the set, and that hair piece in general is rare, but especially this colour will probably become rare in the future, it's quite nice to have an exclusive hairpiece in a cheap set. And what else is exclusive is the torso print, which is a really nice and intricate torso print. I mean, it's very basic, as are most LEGO City torso prints, but it's done in a very nice colour, which is a light blue, or light azure, I think it's called, technically speaking. And it does have some printing on it. It sort of shows the hips of the Mefig, and it also shows sort of the details with a pouch. And there's also... Um, I'm not sure what the pouch is for, but there's also some detailing, sort of some light blue, light aqua detailing on there, which shows various swirls. It sort of looks like waves or plants in blue or something. Yeah, very nice detail, very weird detail, but nice. And another weird yet nice detail is this piece, which is a hood which is on the front. I think it's meant to be like this, but I'm not sure why. Like, most uh, hoodies don't have a hood on the front. I mean, it might be a sort of new fashion thing that's happened recently. I don't really know, because I don't really follow fashion that much, but... Or Tory, but, um, yeah, it has a hood on the front. There are two toggles there, which is a nice detail, and there's two buttons there. And on the back, uh, there's not much detail. There's a hood on the back, so this has a double hood. So I guess perhaps it could be used as a face mask or scarf. And the headpiece is a very common headpiece. The legs are plain white, the hands are plain yellow, and the arms are the same colour as the torso. But yeah, in general, this Mefig, this Mefig has a very nice torso and very nice hair, and the rest of the Mefig is pretty common. The main build of the set, and the main build of the set is a pizza delivery truck or van. And you can use this as a stationary thing, or it can move around a city, delivering pizzas wherever it goes. And uh, this pizza van has a very nice shape at the front. I really like that. It shows some air intakes, and there's a number plate, and two lights. There's also some sort of uh, rear view mirror mirrors here, and um, those can flip up and down. So it would be best to keep them up, but you can keep them down if you want to. If you want to drive dangerously, then you can. 
And uh, also, there's a door on either side which can open and close. Although, to get the minifigure in and out, you really need to take the roof off. Unfortunately, when you do, you can easily see this green piece here. I sort of wish that was covered up by perhaps another plate, but you could always take one from your own parts collection and add that in. Well, I sort of wish they had it complete in this set. But, you know, if you don't have many Lego parts, then uh, you won't be able to sort it. But if you do, then you can. So, yeah. And on the back, there's not much detail, but on the front, there's a steering wheel, and there's a very nice windscreen. And uh, also on the sides, there are these bits which can open up. I show it on this side because it's the same on the other side. But you open that up, and you can see the pizza guy inside there cooking a pizza. And there's some chips there, and some water. And on the side, there's a cooker, and that has two basic lights. There's lots of room in there, you can stand two minifigs in there, but there's a light, and there is also, it's very hard to see in there, so it would probably be easier for me to just take off the roof. Unfortunately, it doesn't come off that easily, but there you can see, there's a cooker with a opening blue door, so you can see the pizzas inside. You can put a pizza in there if you want, or you can leave it there so you can easily grab it. And you can stand two minifigs side by side, or like this, facing towards each other, talking inside there. There's a nice printed tile which sort of shows a dial there, so you can enter how much time you want to put the, the uh, pizza in for. So uh, there's a green light to show that it's done. There are some french fries, which I showed you earlier, but here's a closer look. It shows a sort of crystal piece, which is meant to be the actual fries and a cylinder piece which is meant to be the box. That's quite a clever build for that. I wish the cylinder piece was a square one by one, but that's no big deal and it sort of looks really cool, like McDonald's fries or something. And that's a clever use of the crystal piece in yellow as the fries sticking out of the uh, box or bag. Uh, and other than that, there's some clear soda and I'm not sure what sort of soda is that colour, but it has a can top piece, which is very rare. Only comes in one Lego Dimensions pack and this set, so that's quite nice to have in there. And there are lots of very rare or exclusive printed pieces in this set. Another one is this pizza piece, which is very nice. It only came in a minifig series other than this. And that shows some pepperoni pizza. That looks very nice and very tasty for a Lego pizza at least. And there's also some sort of uh, garlic on there, and there's some cheese, and some sauce, and it shows that it's all sliced up. Although there are pizza slices in the set, you can show that there are slices on this pizza. And it's not all one big block to just shove in your mouth or something. So Minifix can actually take a slice and eat it nicely. And there's also some sauce on the side here, so you can see there's cheese, and the red sauce that can be squirted out onto the pizza base. So that's quite nice, very easy access there for the pizza guy to make the pizzas. And you can take it off, and in the box art it shows him flipping it. Well, there's not enough room to do that in the actual set, but that's quite cool. It would be nice if there was a play feature there, so you could actually flip it. But whatever, there's a bit of glass here, and there's also a cash register here, so I guess his cash in, is in there. And now I'm going to put the roof back on. Well, at least I'm going to try to. It's very hard to get it back on and off again, but uh, it sort of goes around this way, and... Okay, uh, wait a minute. There we are. So, there's the roof. Uh, there is the windscreen. And there is the main roof of that bit. So on the roof, there shows a sort of city pizza sign, and that's a nice back reference to a set called Lego City City Center, which has a place called Pity, uh, City Pizza, and that place has the exact same logo on it, only bigger and in lime green. But that's quite a cool throwback to that 2012 set from Lego City. I actually have that set, so it's pretty cool to have both of these as sort of the same pizza chain in Lego City. And it's a very basic detail, but very nice detail, and long-time Lego fans will notice it, and it's a very nice Easter egg to have on there. And also, there is a menu sticker which shows you can get a pizza slice, and you can get salad. And I assume one would be chips, since it shows three is pizza slice, two is uh, the salad. 
Or maybe that's how much you pay for it. Who knows? But yeah, that's quite a nice sticker. Wish it was a printed piece, but it wouldn't have worked with the builder set since it's two pieces. I really don't like when they put it over two pieces, but it all works for this particular set. And around the back, uh, it's a bit plain. There's two lights and there's a, um, a, a license plate. And on the front of the roof, there's some nice tiles. Around the back, you can flip this up, although it'd be better to flip it up from the other way, but you can do it from both ways. And there's a sticker on the panels which says City Pizza, shows a happy, smiling uh, Italian pizza guy. It shows the Italian flag going through there. Very nice sticker detail. And on it, it also says uh, M MF112130 Twenty-one thirty, twenty-one thirty. I have no idea what the significance of that is, but if anyone knows, then you can let me know in the comments section below. And the wheels are Speed Champions wheels. There are some hubs around those. Very nice detailing there. There's a red stripe going through the entire thing. It's cut off by this, but that's okay, because when you flip it up, you don't really notice that. And it does look quite cool, the red stripe going all the way through it. And it's a go-faster stripe, I assume, so it can go fast through a city. And around the back there's not much detail, but considering the rest of the detail on the set, and how great this set overall is for £15, considering what other things do you get, I'm really happy with the build of this set. Like, it's really great. And there was only a pizza van in 2006, and then before that it was 1980, I think? So there really haven't been many LEGO City Pizza vans, and they've definitely improved a lot over time, and this is definitely the best one so far. Although maybe there'll be a better one in 2020 or something like that. Who knows, but this one is the best one so far. And it's really awesome. The colour scheme is really bright and vibrant. And overall, there's lots of nice details. And it looks really awesome as a pizza van for LEGO City theme. It's really fantastic. I'd really recommend it, especially for the price. And if you can find it for even lower, then that's even better. But for the £15 price point that it's at, it's a really great set, really great value. I mean, you get a lot in the set. You get a van, you get a moped, you get two minifigs, you get lots of accessories in the pizza van itself. It's very well detailed van build. It's very vibrant, very colourful. There's a table, there's some new pieces, new prints. I mean, it's really awesome. I really like it. It might be my favourite LEGO City vehicle that LEGO has ever done, and ever will do. I mean, it's really great. A really, really great set. I'd give it a 10 out of 10, and that's it for this review. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you later, alligator.